हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल लर्न अबाउट इम्पेरेटिव सेंटेंसेस लुक एट दीज सेंटेंसेस एंड प्लीज रिपीट देम आफ्टर मी फादर प्लीज बाय मी अ पैकेट ऑफ पोटैटो चिप्स Don't eat potato chips. Have some fruits. They are healthy. Here in the first sentence, what is the child saying to his father? The child is requesting his father to buy him a packet of potato chips. In the second sentence the father is giving a command don't eat potato chips and in the third sentence the father is advising his son to have fruits because they are healthy here we see that sentence 1 is a request sentence 2 is a command and sentence 3 is an advice so we can say that sentences which express a request command or an advice are called imperative sentences now have a look at some examples and repeat them after me notice the use of the polite words please and kindly used in these sentences first sentence is please come here next is teacher please help me solve this sum third sentence is please pass me the sugar and the last is kindly grant me leave for 2 days you certainly must have noticed that these all sentences make a request pay attention to these sentences and speak after me come here don't talk stand up don't make your classroom dirty what do these sentences express yes you guessed it right these all sentences express commands listen to these sentences carefully and speak after me you should cover your books and notebooks properly take a healthy diet you should respect your elders listen to your teacher carefully these all sentences offer an advice or a suggestion it must be very clear from the sentences we just spoke in the previous slides that the sentences that make a request give a command offer an advice or a suggestion are called imperative sentences please note that imperative sentences may end with a full stop or an exclamatory mark look at the following sentences shut the door keep your classroom clean you may think that there is no subject in these sentences but actually it is not so please note that in imperative sentences 
the subject is usually not mentioned it is implied or understood so in the given sentences you is the subject which is though not mentioned but it is implied it is understood so it is you shut the door you keep your classroom clean one thing more about imperative sentences is that the verb is in base form it does not show any tense in this module we learned sentences that express a request a command or an advice are called imperative sentences in imperative sentences subject is generally not mentioned it is understood and verb is in base form it does not show any tense that's all we have in this module in the next module we shall learn about exclamatory sentences